Hello, this video shows you a small sending client for uh, emails written in .NET uh, Framework 4.7, in this case Visual Basic, uh, but it's also possible in C Sharp. Um, and it does simply one thing, it's an application which sends emails. So you may use that code in your application uh, when you want to straight uh, send mails from your application either from uh, .NET application, classic des desktop application or if you want to use this by uh, the uh, by a com control in the office application straight from the application out. So and <coughs> what I th what uh, will I show here now this is my my private account and I want to send some mails uh, from my T online account. So I have a T online account in here, and I'm sending this with uh, um, Secure Socketlet SSL um, uh, encoded and with a port uh, in there. And this is my T online account test account for that point. So this is Secure SMTP. T online de you may have the uh, same uh, email server there uh, at your own address and now the other stuff is where I'm sending to email target email address and the subject and the text so when I send this one then we will get email status sent is true so what behind that software behind that software we have the form 1 control and then we have a small code and the code does the following stuff. It's a big function. And in this case, Visual Basic, Visual Basic has functions, not uh, methods. And <coughs> but it's quite similar. Take that code and semicolon behind there, and it works in the same way. Make a uh, system dot net mail mail address, and then from to. So you have a address object, and then cr uh, create a mail message from to. So now we have the mail in here. So we may add some further with semicolon uh, split uh, further addresses and see uh, um, copycon uh, addresses. Then we have in this new mail message we need uh, the declaration if it's uh, body uh, if it's HTML or a subject and a subject and a body so that's the stuff which we, what we have written in our input fields for demonstration um, you may load that by a database or something at runtime and then we have uh, the most important stuff is the SMTP client create a new system net mail SMTP client and uh, then we need use default credentials to false. False means uh, when you're uh, when I'm actually sitting somewhere in Stuttgart and the uh, T-Online is in Frankfurt so I'm not inside the, uh, in on the same server on the same machine I'm outside and so by this I have to uh, I have to log in on a later point uh, with my with an email account and a or email address and um, and a password. That's the default. So not no, I'm not in house. Not a Windows system um, um, credential or login. It's uh, from the outside with the user password uh, with the uh, uh, the user and the password combination. Then we have enable SSL. So this is uh, most machines work today with the SSL. Um, encryption only set this one you don't have to set the encryption type set the port uh, in our case it was five eight seven something like this you have to know where where your port is uh, when I look up in my point in my uh, in my declaration from the side there's some somewhere it's, it's written where what the port is I can't find it in this point no. secure smtp t online de 
and then somewhere is the port. Doesn't matter. Uh, we have that's not the port. Okay, doesn't matter at that point. Uh, I know the port is the port is five something five eight seven. You may set it dynamically. So that's the point. Port enables it, and then credential means uh, now I'm logging in into that client. So the client listens and says, "Okay, here I am." And then, uh, as soon as it's uh, logged in, then I may send my message. And after my message, this is uh, not um, it's not asynchronous. It's synchronous. It waits as long as it's sent. Uh, and then uh, after this I'm disposing or uh, closing my SMTP client again and the other point is um, just some messages. So I hope I could help you by that and as we have seen we got some mails. This is now the stuff which I have sent before and uh, the machine said everything is okay.